Dang it. I recorded a bunch of stuff and didn't have the microphones on. Thanks for tuning into Garden Hands. I'm getting out in the garden today. Yep, it's <laughs> snow all over the ground, but I'm going to get some of the ranunculus into the ground today. I have this low tunnel. Is that what you call it? Or a caterpillar tunnel with some polyfilm over it. The 10 day forecast looks like it should be really favorable for ranunculus. It's going to be upper 30s, 40s and 50s in the next 10 days. And then at night it drops down to about freezing or upper 30s. So I'm going to get the first of the ranunculus in the ground tonight. And then it's almost dinner time here. It's my husband's birthday. Happy birthday, Kevin. And then we're going to go grill burgers. But the rest will go in tomorrow and I have a couple other places around the yard that I will be putting ranunculus this year. I may hold off on putting those in just to watch the forecast a little bit longer, but in all reality, ranunculus want to get in the ground when it's a little bit cooler out, that's when they thrive. These ranunculus were pre-sprouted about a month ago. I'd have to check the actual date and I had them growing in my basement on under grow lights. They've done phenomenal. They are ready to get out. The roots are root bound, growing great. Uh, probably about two weeks ago they should have been planted, but our weather conditions were not favorable. It was very cold and then a huge snowstorm came. So we work with what we've got and they're gonna go in now. I have several different varieties. I'm going to play on, on color blocking. The first row here will be individual colors and then throughout the yard I can put my mixed varieties. These ranunculus are going to make their way into bouquets that go out this summer to community members, friends, family, neighbors, and I hope that we have about double the number of ranunculus this year than we had last year. So really excited about that. Cannot wait to see some of these new varieties and let's get planting. Let's see what the inside of this tunnel looks like. I do have a thermometer in here. It's very slippery on the plastic. I do have a thermometer in here and the nighttime lows are about five degrees warmer than the outside air temperature. So they, it provides a little bit of wind protection, heats it up in the, it heats it up during the day really fast. So right now it said it was about 50 degrees in there and it's maybe 38, 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So during the day, if there's any kind of sun, it heats it up really fast. And I probably will have to start coming out here and raising the sides up a little bit during the day. Something to watch. My method this year of keeping the plastic on was using rocks, boards, and sandbags. It's been up for about a week. So I put it up mid-March and I have had no issues with it blowing the plastic off like I did last year. So that's gonna be there's our door. We'll get in there. It smells like fish in here. The ground is thawed. It's been really warm this winter generally. So the ground was thawed probably over a month ago, but it just wasn't quite ready to get stuff in the ground. So the digging should be really easy. I have tags in here that indicate what color I'm pulling out. And it looks like I planted these on February 10th. So a month and a half ago, they are more than ready to get out here. And I do believe I have dividers in here somewhere as well that kind of indicates which section each color starts and stops. So all I'm going to do is pull back this carpet gently and you can pretty easily see where the clumps of tubers are. You can see the corms. And I'm going to very gently pull the corm out. So the corm, you can see the little tentacles when we pre-sprouted them. The roots are beautiful. They look very healthy. 
and from this corm, I'm seeing one, two, three, four growth points or sprouts that are sending up really nice green leaves. So that is a really good corm, I would say. I'm very happy with that. When I plant them in the ground, my goal is to plant them about as deep as they were in this tray. So really they just need to go in the ground about two inches, make sure the roots are in the ground. I'm going to just dig a hole deep enough to hold the roots, cover them back up and they're good to go. I did water these this morning and I just realized that's why it stinks in here is I fertilized today. So it's gonna smell very fishy in this polytunnel, but I will probably check on their moisture level tomorrow and again on Sunday. Um, the ground looks to be pretty moist. The snow is melting all around. So I think we are probably okay for a little bit. And then the other thing is, I'll flip you around here. I had stock in this bed last year and I just cut the stems off right at the soil level. I'm gonna leave those in there if I can. They're not gonna do any harm or damage to the ranunculus. They'll break down and provide a little bit of compost and nutrients to the soil. So I will work around the old roots that are in this bed. There are dandelion weeds in here, so those will get pulled out and thrown into the corner for right now. All right, excited to see. First color up is Barbie. Oh, there's even worms right in the soil here. All right, put my tag in. First plants of 2024. So here's, oops, I just disintegrated it. Here's a corm that I found in the Barbie mix and it is squishy. So that one didn't survive, not a big deal. Can compost that. Ranunculus are pretty heavy feeders. I will want to fertilize or continue fertilizing throughout the season. I could put down a granular fertilizer, more of a slow release as well. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to put that in the holes as I'm planting them, but I didn't bring it out and kind of just wanted to get these in the ground. But I can come through and top dress, scratch it into the soil tomorrow. I wouldn't be surprised if the plants look a little bit worse for wear for a day or two. Just transplant shock. I think that would be pretty reasonable to expect, fairly normal to see. But with the weather outlook the way it is predicted, they will bounce back pretty fast. So I got all of the ranunculus from that tray planted. I think I had two corms that were probably not viable. I did not plant them. So in theory, there should be about 98 in here, which is really a lot. I'm excited about that. They look really good. They look, well, to be honest, they look frazzled right now, but give them three days and I think we'll start seeing them bounce back another week and they'll be continuing to push new growth and maybe in two weeks, it'll look more like a solid green carpet in here. 
I think the varieties I have in here are Barbie, white, violet, champagne, and porcelain. I'll do another update in a few weeks and hopefully in another month or two, we'll start seeing some buds in here. Thanks so much for watching. Catch you next time. Bye.